Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Film Photography Podcast Darkroom Minute. Uh, Matt Marash here. I'm here today to answer a listener question. FPP listener Andy wanted to know a little bit more about developing black and white film at home. What all does he need? And what steps does he need to carry out to be able to do it at home? Well, Andy, everything you need to develop black and white film will fit in this little five-gallon bucket right here. Inclu everything, including the bucket, isn't necessary, but it just really, really helps the process out. So let's pick this apart piece by piece and get you developing black and white film. So first off, we have this nice little plastic tank. This is also known as a Patterson tank, also known as a film developing tank. Uh, they come in stainless steel, plastic, and I just like the plastic because they handle a wide, wider range of stuff than the stainless steel tanks. Um, on the bottom here, it even has a handy-dandy guide telling you how much chemistry you need for all of your processing, so that really comes in handy. So, And that will come with a lid, a baffle, there we go, keep it light tight, a spool, and at least one plastic reel that takes 135, 127, uh, 120, or 220 film can handle two rolls of 35 or one roll of 120. So you need that to process. That's what's going to hold your film. Uh, to measure out some chemistry, a nice graduated cylinder. This is a 1,200 milliliter graduated cylinder. Comes in handy for measuring things out. Usually you don't go past 600 on anything, but for mixing the bigger chemistry, it really helps. So this nice little uh, baffled spoon or stirrer, whatever you want to call it. This, along with the five-gallon bucket, will allow you to mix the following, all of your chemistry. So we have our D76 here. This is our developer. So you need a developer to get those clumps of silver to form into the image that you intended to shoot. After that, you're going to need to stop development. You can either do that with some running water, or you can use and save some water, a Kodak indicating stop bath. Uh, usually that's a one-time purchase. A lot of folks don't go through that very quickly. After that, you want to get rid of the unexposed silver in your film, and you will want some Kodak, some fixer. This is Kodak Rapid Fixer. You can use a regular fix, like a Kodafix solution, or you know, whatever suits your fancy. I use uh, Kodak Rapid Fixer in the liquid two-part kit because I don't like the hardener, which is pretty much um, uh, uh, sulfuric acid in there, and I just don't like the extra acid in my my steps because I use a really sensitive developer. But for everybody else, this works great and it's very cheap. Uh, after that, you're going to want to have some more archival permanents and get the fixer out of the bath, and you do that with permawash. After we wash, we want to have our film dry with no streaks, so we use Kodak Photo Flow, or any kind of surficant uh, dish detergent also works pretty well and keeps the bubbles off. Uh, this is a nice little dispenser bottle because you'll need a couple drops at a time in your water. Because you, if you go crazy with this stuff, well, your film is just going to look really wonky. So this is all you really need to develop your film. Um, you can see some examples of us developing film at FPP here in the dark room with our uh, film photography podcast Midwest Meetup. We put those videos on YouTube in July, and unfortunately, I don't have any film to shoot right or to develop right now. But yeah, this is a pretty good primer. All of these packets make one gallon of working solution so if you plan on doing this much at a time it would be a good idea to get two or three of these guys which are your one gallon uh, data bottles these sell online at freestyle for about six to eight bucks a piece and well they're just one-time purchases because you can wash them fill them up relabel them do whatever you need with them so that's what you need to develop your film Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope this answered your, your question, Andy. If anyone else out there has any questions on black and white home developing, just shoot me an email, matt.marash at filmphotographyproject.com. Thanks a lot.